As freestyle is the stroke that we're all going to be doing the most of, it's really important that we swim with great efficiency and with great technique. So let's go ahead and break down the arms, the legs and the head position when it comes to freestyle swimming. So starting out with the arms, I really want us to focus a lot on distance per stroke. And this is something that is going to be really crucial to your freestyle swimming. Essentially what this means is we want to get the most distance possible out of each arm stroke. We're trying to find that really beautiful balance between our stroke rate, how fast we stroke, and the distance per stroke we get each time we pull through the water. As I said earlier, it's no good having a really, really high stroke rate, taking lots and lots of strokes per lap if we're not getting very good distance out of those strokes. So when it comes to getting good distance out of each arm pull, there are a couple of things I really want to point out in the catch position. So as we extend our arm to begin the catch position, there are a couple of things that are really vital before we even start pulling through the water. And that's that we've got our abs on nice and tight. We're holding really good power and strength through that underarm position so that we can maximize those big lat muscles. And we really want to make sure that our elbows are always, always higher than our wrist. Now I'm going to slow down the video so you can really see what I mean by this. So we've got our arm nice and straight. And as we begin, we're going to first of all begin with just the wrist movement. So ever so slightly beginning to turn our wrist down and really hold a lot of water in that hand. Then we're going to really lift the elbow, really holding a lot of power in that underarm. These lat muscles is what is going to give us the strength to pull with power through the water. So begin by slowly raising up that elbow, really holding now. You should feel that water in your forearm. Now really engage those lats, really begin to pull down right beside your head, coming through nice and tight to your body and really push back with power using those big tricep muscles. Now what I want you to focus on as our arm comes down through the catch is we don't want to get too wide from our body. If our arm goes out too far away from our body, it's going to have the opposite impact on our hip. What we want to do is try and keep our arms and legs, everything in a really tight position so that we're swimming just straight forward. We don't want to do any side to side. Once we have finished the end of the stroke and we've pushed back with power, we're going to now begin the recovery. The first thing that's going to happen is your elbow is going to bend slightly and that's the first thing that's going to come out of the water. Our wrists and our hands are going to follow that movement almost as if your fingers are trailing across the surface of the water as we extend out in front of us so we can begin our next stroke. If at any point in time our wrist is higher than our elbow, it means that we're not going to be utilizing the power available to us underneath the water and also above the water it means we're going to be using unnecessary energy and we're going to be creating more and more movement that isn't serving us to go faster with more speed. So really keep in mind when it comes to freestyle swimming and the arm pull, you always want your elbow to be higher than your wrist. Now let's bring our attention to the legs. Similarly to the tips I shared for backstroke kick, we really want to focus on the kick down and the pull up. So really kicking down with the legs, the hips, the glutes. We really want to utilize those big, big muscles in our legs and our hips to really get the most amount of power out of the legs. So kick down with the quad, pull up with the hamstring. And the thing I really want to make a big important note is we just want to keep our kick in a small, tight range. Again, any unnecessary big down kick or big up kick is going to just put off our rhythm. Just keep it nice and short, nice and tight, little flutters with the legs, getting a lot of power of those big, big muscles in our legs. And always make sure we've got our abs on nice and tight. We could have great power in our arms and great power in our legs, but if we don't have our abs locked on tight, we're almost going to snake through the water. So in order to link the arms and legs together, we've really got to lock on those abs. So in order to improve on our legs and those power in those legs, there's a couple of drills that you can work on. To start with, most simply, we can of course utilize a kickboard, but it's always my preference to use a lighter kickboard. I really like using a kickboard 
pull board just so it doesn't give you too much buoyancy and I don't really like the ones that go beyond my elbows because then I struggle to really engage my upper body and my abs. So if you can find a shorter kickboard that's really going to serve you as we practice these drills or of course you can check out the one I have on my website. I really like to practice the freestyle kicking drills on the kickboard with my head both out of the water and also in the water. This is really going to help with your hip position keeping your hips nice and close to the surface of the water. So once again making sure we're really engaging that push pull with the legs and those quads and hamstrings. Kicking down with the quad and pulling up with the hamstring. It's almost like cycling if you've done cycling before and a lot of people when it comes to freestyle kick only focus on the down kick and don't think about the up kick. So I really want you to think about that as we practice on the kickboard. The other really important thing to note is we don't want the soles of our feet coming too far out of the water. All the power in the legs is going to come from what happens underneath the water. So don't waste too much energy and time with your feet coming too far out of the water. So really make sure you've got all those leg muscles engaged. Really feel everything lock on nice and tight. And let's try and keep that range nice and close, nice and tight and getting the most power and forward movement out of our legs. The last thing I want to draw your attention to when it comes to freestyle is head position. Now, as I've said in all the other videos, head position is really important because where your head goes dictates where your hips go. So if your head is too low in the water, it means your hips are going to be too high in the water. Vice versa, if your head is too high, it means your hips will be too low. And the idea and the goal that we're trying to go for is to be as flat as possible. We don't want to create any extra resistance with our stroke. So the easiest way to have awareness of where your head is, is where your eyes are looking. Now, I really want you to focus when it comes to freestyle is having your eyes be directly underneath you. Now, this might freak a few of you out because you think you need to look around at where everybody else is in the water, where your competitors are, and that's okay to have a glance. But for the most part, I always want to make sure your head and your eyes are looking down. Now, the tip I would give you in particularly in training, I trained in a really large squad. You always need to have awareness of where your teammates were in the pool and in your lane in particular. So it's okay to have your head facing down, but just use your eyes to glance up and look ahead of you. But don't lift your head in the process. It's okay to have your eyes move around, but once again, keep that head in a really, really straight position. Don't lift your head up. If you lift your head up, it's going to affect your whole stroke. It's going to make it so much harder for you. And the tips I'm giving you are to help you to be more effortless in the water. So the next time you're at training, I hope you try out some of these tips. Whether you start with practicing the arms, the legs, the head position, it's all really important. And the goal is to get so comfortable with it that it happens automatically for you. So practice makes perfect.